Celestial blessings, my name is Helen Demetriou and today I'm going to talk about the subject that is so close to my heart. It is about the goddess who I have promised to never deny, to always support and honour her name. Now I do write more of this subject in the great work that I told you I was working on. I can reveal right now that it is a mystery school. We will be offering online courses for anyone who is serious about the spiritual education of seeing through the matrix and learning the truth. Now, I'm going to touch on something that I'm writing about right now because I'm writing a book for um, the mystery school. The goddess, she is not present in the consciousness of those, those that say they worship the goddess. Why is this so? Some of you may get offended, that's okay. I'm a passionate person. I have um, my teaching guide with me who is Moses Foth Hermes. And when I, when I am trying to teach something, it's not for my own good. I don't get anything from this. It's for anyone who has ears to listen. I am blunt. But just don't get offended because I'm a passionate person and as I think, I say. Why is she not conscious? Now going back to the videos of tolerance, um, patriarchy and scapegoating, I mentioned how the pagans and the spiritual people say that Christianity destroyed the goddess, tried to destroy her name, tried to get rid of the goddess, tried to eradicate her or take her from our consciousness and that many say that they're they're working on resurrecting the goddess how are you resurrecting the goddess did the goddess die when did the goddess die that she needs to be resurrected now you could say well she wasn't given to the people people were not taught about the goddess why should people be taught about the goddess why should everybody sit there and wait to be spoon fed their religion if you look all around you you will see the goddess everywhere and I'm not just talking about in nature I'm not just talking about flowers and 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 and, and mountain crops and cracks in mountains she is everywhere as I said in my other video even in Starbucks they have Ishtar Starte the great goddess as their logo the Statue of Liberty is Astarte. She's a gigantic, humongous statue in New York. She, how can anybody say that they tried to get rid of the goddess? When, that is a humongous statement. I am here. I never left. Anywhere that you go, you can see the goddess. If you go to any of the um, archaeological sites around Europe, you're going to find temples of the goddess. There are statues of the goddess everywhere. In the law courts, you've got the goddess Themis. I mean, where can anyone show me how and where the goddess has been deleted? Is it because people want to sit there and have somebody tell them what to believe? They want someone to feed them their religion. Is this what people want? Now, I have had discussions about this in the past. And some people say to me, well, they don't teach it. They don't teach it in the schools. They don't do this. They, you know, they, we're, we're in a society and they don't teach my children about the goddess. All they do is teach about Jesus and, and Christianity. But hang on a minute. So you're telling me that you want someone to keep coming up to you like a little baby with a spoon and saying, here, open your mouth, take what I'm going to give to you. Is this what people want? If this is what they want, they can continue to stay asleep and they will not see, they will remain blind. This is why the people that claim to worship the goddess are the ones that are saying that the goddess has been tried, some, the, the Christians tried to get rid of the goddess. Now, the, the Christianity, they say there's no goddess in Christianity. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Mother Mary, she's the mother of God. I mean, what other title higher than God can you get? The mother of God. There is all the saints. There is all of the women mentioned in the Bible. Where does it say anywhere in the Bible that there is no goddess? Everywhere that you hear. I mean, if you're the mother of God, you're a goddess. She is everywhere. She has been there all the time. And why are we saying we're going to resurrect 
the goddess resurrect her from where when did she die that she needed resurrection this is really important it's no good making an altar and having an idol and going there and saying goddess please help me blah 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 and telling people i follow the goddess i walk with the goddess when you cannot see her around you that means that you are looking only one direction and that you are not expanding yourself you are not looking around you and trying to find her everywhere and not just in nature i'm talking about her 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 image immortalized in idols and in logos that are everywhere around you not just in nature as i said and not just in a new age store or a pagan store she is everywhere that you go now i agree we have a patriarchal society and i agree that she has taken a back seat for the past 2000 years again we must never say that man did this to the goddess and that man has more power over the goddess the goddess must have agreed to this part she must have allowed this to happen if we have patriarchy it's because the goddess allowed it and believe me if she allows it she has a divine plan in mind because the goddess is the divine plan because nature is goddess it is the divine plan it is sacred geometry it is the golden ratio that is the divine plan and the divine laws that is the goddess so if we are led by patriarchy it's because humanity for some reason needed that male direction but who is the force the energy the driving fire the power behind this male force it is the goddess if you look in the hindu religion it talks about the god and the goddesses all the gods are powered by shakti energy it is the shakti the goddess who gives the gods their energy and their power she is the empowering force look it up anywhere shakti shekina sophia look it up about what i'm saying about the hindu gods that the shakti is the driving force she gives it the power so what am i saying then i am saying that if the goddess is part of the divine plan that she agreed for this male uh, dominant society to take uh, place because we as a, we are needed to be um directed we had needed to be directed for the past 2000 years and before by a male and a male dominance a male direction for the sake of humanity but behind that it is the goddess that gives the energy and gives the force now she could have stepped down because people were probably not seeing her everywhere like they're not doing now they're not seeing that she's not in their consciousness if they cannot see that the goddess has never been eradicated she's never been taken out she's in in christianity the religion that they love to jump on and scapegoat if you can see that if you can't see that sorry then that is probably one of the reasons why she did step back because she's probably had enough of people waiting to be spoon-fed instead of going and finding her and she decided to do this the goddess never ever left earth she never left us the goddess is always always around and not just in nature she made sure she ensured that there were symbols of her left all over the world not just her temples it's my dog modern day um architecture modern day logos symbols of the goddess she is everywhere there is not one power on this earth that can eradicate or try to delete her and to say that if they have and that they succeeded is saying that the goddess is weaker than humans and i do not accept that not for one moment and i find it an insult to the goddess to even say this this is why i started talking about patriarchy that people are saying all oh, the christians all oh, they come along and they they all make everything patriarchal and they did this to the women and they did this to the goddess and they blah 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 when we all know 
if you do your homework, you can see it has always been a patriarchal society. We had one aeon of the goddess only. The difference is, is during this patriarchy time or pagan times, the goddess was being um, worshipped. People have always had a choice whether they wanted to worship or not. We have a goddess in Christianity. We have, we have churches that are built over the temples of Venus, Astarte, Ishtar, and they've renamed them either St. Helens or they've na renamed them um, St. Mary or the Mother Mary or whatever. If you go researching, you will find the majority of the Venus goddesses that you know that I work with and um, is my matron goddess that on top of those temples was built churches in honour of St. Helen or of St. Um, Mary or Mother Mary. Why? Because it's the same incarnation. It's the same being. So you cannot say that you cannot go to a Catholic church or a Greek Orthodox church and you're going to see a gigantic statue of Mary. I mean, come on. What are we saying here that there's no God? Is that you, are you blind? You go into a church. All right, not many of you go into church. You go into a church or you look at pictures, you don't see the goddess. She's standing there with 12 stars above her head. Stars. Think about it. 12 stars above her head. A crescent moon below her feet. This is an ancient symbol of Astarte. She's there. She is saying, look at me. Hello, I'm here. I never went anywhere. Look at me. Open your eyes. I never went anywhere. You have to find her in every religion. She's always been there for you. And this scapegoating of the Christians, again, what is the... I don't get this. You know, Islam is completely male dominant. They do not allow any representations of the man's face in their mosques. They completely eradicated the goddess from their consciousness and they do not hold women in any high esteem we all know their thoughts on women i'm not having a go about islam i'm just telling it as it is yet why do people keep constantly using christianity as a scapegoat you know this is one thing the reason i keep harping on it is because you don't seem to understand that you're going to find so much information in the ancient texts regarding the truth and the goddess. And I'm not here just to promote the Bible. I'm not here to promote Christianity. I'm trying to say to people, look, try to get over this animosity that you have because it's stunting your growth. You are going to find so much Truth, yes, truth, in ancient texts, in all ancient texts, from all religions. And if you stunt your growth with your animosity, then you're not going to, um, you're not going to become as light enlightened as you can be. You need to look for her. She is there. She never left. Just everywhere you look, even in the form of porcelain female angels, she is there. And this is really important. The reason I keep going on about it is because I care about consciousness. I care about the ascension of humanity. I'm not getting nothing to make these videos. And nobody's saying to me, I hear Helen, there you go for making the video. I'm not getting nothing. Neither am I gaining anything or trying to persuade you to see my point of view for some kind of an ego trip. I am doing these videos because I am here and I want to honor my mission to teach people and help to awaken them so that we can ascend as a whole. Now, 2012, I don't want to go on that much longer. 2012 is the year of the goddess. I've been telling you for, for a year maybe that the gods are returning, the goddess is returning, and it is the year of the dragon, as you know, which is the year of um, the goddess. It's Inanna, it's Ishtar, it's Venus, it's Mary Magdalene, it's Astarte, 
uh, it's it's uh, Helen. I mean, you know, this it's all of these Venus goddesses. It is her year where the goddess consciousness is coming back into our consciousness. It doesn't mean that she weren't there. It means she wasn't in your consciousness and she's coming back with a vengeance. Open your eyes. I'm here. I want you to see me. Come on, it's time. Stop blaming everyone else for your um, your blindness. It's no one else's fault. Don't sit there waiting for someone to tell you what to believe. This is what you're fighting against, but this is what you're complaining about, that they're not teaching it in schools. So what? They don't teach us how to live. In schools, they teach us about wars and rubbish that is not going to be no good to us in our adult life. What do we want to wait for schools to teach us about the goddess for? It's you that what you find out, what your education and the energy and the passion that you put into it that matters and you will see her everywhere. Just put it into your consciousness. From now on, I program myself to see the goddess wherever she is and you will begin to see her. You'll see her in everything, in patterns, in numbers, in whatever. You're going to see her. So anyway, that's my, my, my passion and everything got out. I feel a bit better now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I want to say I love you all. I know sometimes that I'm really forceful and passionate but honestly it's because I am so passionate about my work and I really want to help people to see. If you accept what I say that's brilliant. If you don't that's brilliant you know. It's up to you but I just want you to think just for a moment if one of the things that I've said it's opened some kind of door, then I'm so happy and grateful. So thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. I love you. Bye-bye.